Right. right. So let's see what it looks like. Whoa! Whoa, look at all that confetti coming out! Color explosion! Today we're going to use the Bake It With Mel cookie confetti cake! That's right, it's a, it's a cake made out of cookies. And it's got a giant confetti middle, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going to be so cool. So this is it. So why don't you open up your the kit and we'll see what it all comes with, okay? Okay. And it comes with a super cool bag. Oh, it's like a little backpack even, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we're going to make it in the assistant kitchen. Cookie with the assistant. Yeah. And bake it with milk. Bake it with milk, cookie with the assistant, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Everybody at home, it's a great time for you to subscribe to the engineering family because we've got lots of fun cooking videos and even some how to make ice cream videos coming up, right? Actually, it has to be baking with the assistant because we're making sweet treats, not like a dinner. That's true. But we're going to make some other things too. So make sure you subscribe mm -hmm. now. So show us what it comes with. It comes with a mixer. Ooh, a, okay. Like a spatula? For, yeah, spatula. And then like, ooh, a piping bag. Ooh, good, good for the frosting. And then, ooh, the sprinkles, because you can't have a confetti cake without sprinkles. Look at all those sprinkles. That looks pretty tacky. It looks pretty, pretty cool. And then parchment paper, okay. probably to cook the cookies on. Ooh, this is where we'll put the cake. Oh, that's the display. It's gold, isn't it? Look yeah. Look that up. That's way neat. All right, and? It also comes, whoa, look how cool this is. Oh, that's like a jar. It's it says it's brown sugar and molasses, right? So let's see that right there. Hold that in front of the camera. So it is brown sugar, sugar, molasses, and sugar. So it even so looks cool. cool. And it comes with a bunch more jars. Like, look, this one's powdered sugar and sh sugar and cornstarch. Okay. Ooh, and this is the piping thing that we put on the piping bag. Oh, yeah. And then this is flour. Flour. Cool. And then that's it. So that's all of our ingredients. And they're already pre mixed, kind of. Yeah, they're all ready to go. So, okay, so we're going to open some of this up and we're going to start baking it with Mel and cooking it with the assistant, right? Right. <laughs> okay, assistant, so here are all of our cool directions. Look how cool that looks, huh? So you can make our the fun fetty cookie cake or you can make 24 fun fetty cookies. So we're going to make the cookie cake, right? Right. All right, so the first step is the what? Put in bag number one. All right, so you've got to add one and a half sticks of butter and bag number one. So go ahead and put your butter in first. Oh, okay. Putting the butter in. So she's putting her butter in, and then she's got to put in her. There we go. And look, each bag is marked, so it's bag number one. Bag number one. Now we'll put in bag number one. And then you've got to mix it for several minutes to make it nice and smooth. And then we add the eggs. So she's going to open up bag number one. So right there it is. That's the bag that has the brown, the brown sugar. Brown sugar, sugar, and molasses. Or I guess, yeah. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Make sure it's all out. So here's bag number one. We'll take that out and you start mixing it. Mix it with this? Yep. Okay. So it's going to take several minutes to get that mixed in all nice because the butter needs to be room temperature, right? Yes, Before make you... sure your butter is room temperature. Otherwise it won't work real well, so it's got to be nice and soft. Well, it take a lot longer. All right, so we're going to keep, we're going to keep working on this and then we'll show you the next step, okay? Okay. Okay, so you've got it all combined. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it kind of looks like peanut butter, doesn't it? It should look creamy once you're done. Okay, so now you've got to add an egg and a yolk, right? Right. So one full egg and then a yolk. So you're going to crack the egg. And then it says to whisk the results. Okay, so you've got your egg cracked. So you're going to put that in. Okay, and now you've got to add a yolk, right? So add them one at a time. Okay. So that's an egg that's already been cracked. And now we just need to take out the yolk. You're gonna take out the yolk and then you're gonna add that, right? 
Okay, so you've got one egg and an extra yolk in, right? Right, now we whisk. You're gonna whisk it up. Right, so you gotta do the whisk. So the whisk will all combine. And then you've gotta add the flour, which is bag number two. So while you're done whisking that, we're gonna open the flour and we're gonna put it in, okay? Okay. Okay, so the eggs have been whisked in, right? Nice and smooth. Right. And now you've gotta add the flour. And the step it says is do not over combine. So you don't wanna mix it too much, you just gotta get it. But I put it all in the flour, right? You put it all in. Ooh. And then once you're done with that, you're going to add some just a few sprinkles to it. So mix that in real well, but not too well. Yeah. So bake it with Mel. Do you think Mel's a boy or a girl? A girl. Maybe it's Melanie, but you know what? It could be Melvin. There was a show called Alice, and she worked at uh, Mel's diner, and he was a boy. Fun fact. That was a cool fun fact. So, what do you think? Uh, what do you think we should bake next? I don't know. You know, we've got some fun projects. We're going to make some ice cream rolls. We're going to make ice uh, cream rolls. Yeah, we're going to make some sm a s'more pizza. S'more pizza. So many fun things. Whoa, this one's pretty cool. So, what have you already made, sister? We've already made whoopie pies and cake pops. Whoopie pies and cake pops. All right, so we're gonna finish mixing this up and then we're gonna add some sprinkles, right? Right! Okay, so, so you mixed it up, but you didn't over mix it, right? And right. And you've got to add some sprinkles to it. But do not put a lot of sprinkles, that way we still have some leftovers. That's right, because you got to put them in the middle of the cookie cake, right? Right. That's your confetti that you're gonna add. So I'm just gonna... So you're gonna put some sprinkles in your hand and then you're just gonna kind of feather them in. All the way around it. There you go. You probably even put a few more in. Mix them in. Okay. I'll, I'll help you a little bit here. Sprinkles! Ooh, look at all those sprinkles. Doesn't that look good? I think that's I think that's mixed in good enough. I agree. So why don't you get that rolled into like a little ball and then you've got to put it and wrap it in plastic that we've already got on the on the counter. And then it's got to go in the freezer for two to three hours. Two to three hours. Okay, so let's dump it on here. Okay. And then while that's in the freezer for two to three hours, we're going to make the frosting that goes on it. And then right. that'll go in the refrigerator for about an hour. And then we're going to make the cookies, put them in the oven, bake them, and then we're going to finish our cookie cake, right? Right. Good job. So stick that in the freezer, assistant. Stick it in the freezer. Good job. Okay, assistant. So while our cake batter is cookie batter is in the freezer, what are you gonna make now? The frosting. The frosting. So what do you have to add? You have to add one and a half sticks of butter, and then you need to add the bag number three. Bag number three. So that's the half stick of butter. There's the half stick right there. And then now we're gonna put the whole stick in. Okay. There we go. And now we need to add bag number three. So that's bag number three. Let's show people how much it said. Bag number three right there. And it is powdered sugar and cornstarch. Okay. My hands are buttery. Oh yeah, because you touched all that butter, right? It makes them nice and slick. <laughs> and then you've got to mix it now. The, if, they say if the frosting is too thick, you can add a little bit of milk to make it a little thinner. And then once it's mixed up, it goes in the refrigerator for at least one hour. Yeah. Now, let's mix. Here we go. All right, so the assistant's going to start mixing, and we'll show you what it looks like when she's done. Okay. Keep on mixing. Keep on mixing. So let's see how that looks. Frosting. All right, that looks pretty good. So we got to get it off the spatula, and you got to put it in the refrigerator for how long? One hour. One hour. All right. So I just washed my hands, so I can scrape it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting frosting all over your hands. Okay, that's good. Hey, we've got somebody else in here that really wants to have it. Do you think it's going to be good, Wiggles? And look, and then there's Waggles. They both 
are very interested in the cake too. <laughs> but they can't have it, right? No, they can't have it. All right, so let's put that in the refrigerator for one hour. One hour. And then we'll come right back and we're gonna start working on that cake, right? Right. Okay, assistant, it's been a couple hours. What do we do now? We grab the dough out of the freezer. Okay, so you've got the freezer. And we need to grab the icing. We can wait until we're done baking the... Yeah, could. So we're going to have to make that into 8 to 10 balls. And then that's going to be the cookies that we make. And then they're going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes, right? Right. Okay, so I'll open it up. Right. Here's the cookie dough. So there's the cookie dough with the sprinkles in it, right? Right. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yummy. All right, so you got to make eight to ten. So do you want to, how do you want to do it? I don't know. Maybe I should, like, maybe it's not, like, I just broke it in half, so maybe I can break it in half to make it it's good enough. Just kidding. <laughs> And now I think I'm gonna make, it says it makes eight to 10 cookies, right? All right, so we're gonna get them all sized out and put them on this, this cookie sheet and with the paper that came by the Bake With Mel set, right? Right. And then we're gonna show you what it looks like when we put it in the oven. Okay. All right, so we got all the cookies. Oh, on. we sure do. So there's 10 on the tray, right? And they're all little balls and you're gonna put it in the oven for how long? 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. So here it is. So let's go in. I'm gonna put it on the middle shelf. Alright, so we preheated the oven and to 350. And off we go. Alright. Alright, now we'll wait 15 to 20 minutes and then get back to you. And then we gotta let them cool for a few minutes too. Yeah, we, we did. Mm. Okay, we're back, assistant, and we're the back. cookies are out of the oven and have cooled off, right? Right. And yes. we know they're good because we made a couple sample holes in them. Yes. All right, so show us how you put holes in the cookies. So we just got a ram we just got a lid that's like one inch wide, I guess, mm -hmm. and then we just put it, try to get in into the very center of the cookie and then press press down. And even twist it a little bit. Yeah. Twist. All right, now lift it straight up. Good, there's one. Let's do another one. And then the extra I should just. You just take your finger and pull it out. That's why you want, when you push it down, you want to twist. Oh, the cookie. You want to twist it down, and then that way, it, it'll help uh, make it come out easier. So twist it. Let me put it. Oops. All right. There's another one. Okay, There's many cookies now. There's many cookies. Let's do one more. Okay, we'll do this one right here. There we go. Good job. All right, now let's do the. Let's make the base of the cookie cake, right? Oh, right. So first, we put, have to put some icing down from this. All right, that's just to kind of glue that first cookie in, right? Do you want me to put the icing on the cookie or on the tray? I think you put it on the tray. Okay. And that's just kind of to glue it down, right? Right. I think that's good, right? Yeah. Now you put a, a cookie without a hole on it on the bottom. Uh, right. Try to get in the center of the cookie. That's right. And then you put the, some icing on that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Listen. Now let's put some around the edge. That okay. seems to be good. Good job. Now we grab a cookie and put it right there. Okay, now make sure it's nice and centered. I think it's centered. Okay, and now you put icing on the next on that cookie, right? We're just layering it. You're layering it. Good. And another cookie with a hole in it. All Wait. right. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> All right, and then you're gonna keep building it up, right? So you put right. some frosting on it. Okay. 
There we go. And then you're gonna, once you get all those cookies out of the holes, you're gonna fill it full of sprinkles, right? Sprinkles! All right, so you're gonna keep going and going, and we're gonna show you what it looks like, okay? Okay. Okay, so we've got all the holes. We have towered them up. And then there's a hole right in the middle. So what are you gonna do now, assistant? Put the sprinkles in before you put the finishing touch the last cookie on. Alright, so with she's no pour the sprinkles in nice and carefully. Okay, sprinkles are going in. Ooh, it's they're already, already to the full. Top. Ah, sprinkles all the way to the top. And now you need the top cookie on, right? Right! The finishing touch! And then we're going to Done with the towel! So now we've got to put frosting all over it, and then we're going to cut it up and see how all that confetti sprinkles come out of it, right? Look at it right now, though. Doesn't it look like a giant ice cream sandwich? It does, doesn't it? Wow. It does. That looks so good. All right. Let's finish it up, okay? Let's finish it up. How's it going, assistant? Good. We're almost done. Okay, now you get to put some sprinkles on it, right? Right. Then we're going to cut it open and see how it works, Ooh. or how it looks, right? So now you're adding some sprinkles. I'm gonna to add it top. around the edge. Okay. So that is a sprinkle cake. Now we're gonna cut it open, and I don't know if we're gonna show it, us cutting it open, but we'll we'll see and let you guys look inside of it. What right. do you think, assistant? I love it. It turned out so well. Yep. Sure did. Look at it, people at home. What do you think? Oh me. Ooh, look at the sprinkles on the top. Super cool. Okay, now it's time to cut it open. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Ooh. Yummy. So we're gonna slice Cutting. through it and see what it looks like on the inside. So, so what do you think it's gonna look like? A, a color explosion. A color explosion? Because of all the sprinkles inside. Yeah, that's gonna be so cool. Whoa, it's coming out. So this is the first piece. Sister, do you get the first piece? I don't know, it's not, not anyone's birthday right now. All right, so we can try to remove it. Here, here we go. All right, so it's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky to make sure that you get that bottom cookie cut, right? Right. right. So let's see what it looks like. Whoa. Whoa, look at all that confetti coming out. Color explosion. Color explosion. So let's put that piece of cake down and see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so the bake with milk confetti cookie cake is all done. And look at all of the. Look how cool it looks on the inside. Wow, look at that. So look, all that confetti inside the cake. It looks so cool. And so, so we made it. And we made it. Super cool. So this is our. It looks like a professional cake. It does. Well, you're a professional cook, aren't you? A yeah. professional baker. All right, everybody. So what should they what should they do, assistant? They should like this video and subscribe to our channel. They need to subscribe because only like 5% of the viewers are actually subscribed. So 5%. make sure you subscribe so we can get to 5 million subscribers, right? 5 million! Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Bye! I think the assistant's going to have a piece of cake. Yep. You're going to have a piece of cake. Bye! Bye, everyone.